Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to um show you another tutorial. Um so this is how to set up a private server and or um uh set up like uh how to set up like the maximum players in your game so you can make your game better and not have your game have so much players where you lag like crazy. Um but yeah, um I guess we can get right into that. So, first thing you want to do is you're going to go to one of your games that you have created. Like, see, I've here, I've made some public already. But what I'm going to do is I am going to go up my Tower of Hell. And then here, if you're, if you're, um, I think you have to be on PC for this. It's either PC or you can only do it on mobile, but you have to be on PC to actually create the game. So what you do, um, or not PC, but it could be on like a Mac, um, uh, or some type of iOS or Apple laptop, you can do that also. You can do this on laptop, PC, and I don't know about iPad, but you're going to hit the three buttons and you're going to configure this place. Here you're able to access like your basic settings, like your name and thumbnail, and your genre. You're able to access your icon, then your thumbnails for like when you click the thing. Access. This is what you're going to want to do. For me, I would, I am, uh, for my game, I'm not going to turn on to console. But if you want to sell access to this experience, that means people will be able to buy this experience. Right here is where the maximum visitor count. That means how many players can fit in one server. That's where you want to change that. Because normally it would be right here. Normally it would be that. I would just go lower if you have like a tower of hell and go on somewhat like 18. Server fill. Roblox optimizes the server fill for me. This is the recommended suggested uh, thing you do. Right. Fill each server as full as possible. This means that um, when a player joins, um, instead of joining one server, it will join the server that's already been created. Ugh, I'm tired. I just woke up. Um, so yeah, that's what it means. It's like, um, uh, if it will be the one that's already created, that already has a person in it. Otherwise, it will go into a new server with no one in it, and, uh, that will be the first person that's in a server on that game at that time. Customize how many server slots are to reserve. That means, um, how many, uh, um, that means people can uh, see how many server slots to reserve to access um, when, when and what they want. With access, you don't want to keep it at everyone. Private servers. If you want to allow private servers, click this. Here, you're able to access if you want it free or paid or paid. For me, I put on paid, or I'm on the 1.4.5 update in the server settings. I decided to keep it at 20. And the marketplace fee is at least 30% of what they. It's either. Oh no, I think it's either 7 to 30% of the amount you put in, and they take. Roblox takes. And then that's how much you earn. Other permissions, allowed gear, um, experience genre, there. Other permissions and allowed copy. I would, do not turn this on. <sighs> do not turn it on. By checking this box, you're granted every other user of Roblox the right to, to use in various ways the content you are now sharing. 
If you do not want this grant right, please do not check this box. For, for, for more information about sharing content, please review the Roblox terms of use. So I would not suggest allow copy. Version history, this means um, you can revert back to any history by just clicking revert to this version. Which means it will go all the way back to um, what items were in that game, and you still can switch to your preview previous version. Ooh. Previous versions of the game. Developer products. Here you can hit uh, create new. Um, you you can um. I'll, I'll leave a really good tutorial down below for you to set up your own donation uh, donation thing, and that would be a really good thing for you guys to use on your game and experiences. This place is this place is part of the experience base, basis tower pal testing servers. <sighs> I let's allow this place to be copied using the create place API in your experience. What this means is people are, are going to be using, people are, will be able to use this game as a template to use for other games, but they can't fully copy the game, like copy the entire game and um, copy the game and use uh, all the stuff and publish the game immediately right after. That would be copy, uh, copying the and uh, a book, um, uh, breaking the rules of Roblox terms of use. So you cannot do that unless you have it enabled. Allow this place to be updated using the Save Place API in your experience. <sighs> what this means is allow this place to be updated using the Save Place API in your experience. Uh, what this means is um, your place will be allowed to be updated using the save place API in the game. So that means you guys think you can save progress using it, but I'm not sure. Because like, I don't think you can go up a stage. I don't think that's what it means. It's like all the stuff you have currently have. But I don't think that would work in the Tower of Hell. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want you guys to like, subscribe, and share. Where I'm only at two Robux. Not a joke. But, yeah, um. <sighs> share this video with others, and I hope it will help you guys in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See y'all.